Servus, ihr Lieben, und hallo, Freunde des gepflegten Brettspiels. Ja, ihr seht immer noch auf der Spiel 2024 und jetzt bin ich am Stand von North Star Games und die haben was ganz Besonderes. Das wisst ihr wahrscheinlich schon, wenn ihr aufmerksam unsere Videos guckt. Und ich bin hier mit Dominic. Dominic ist der Designer von Nature. Ja. Yeah. So, Dominic, nice to have you. Thanks oh, thank for being you. with us. Yes. And I hope you enjoyed the fair so far. It's been great. Yeah, you still have a voice. That's a little bit of a voice. Admirable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you're gonna show our viewers your new game, Nature. And I'm gonna do it in English. Yeah, I, I think that's okay. Okay, uh, we'll good. Probably, we'll probably do videos afterwards where I explain a little bit more about okay. the game. Fantastic. Okay, Dominic, hit it off. This is nature. Oh my God, I can't yell. I'm gonna explain the theme a little bit. This game takes place in a dynamic ecosystem around a little watering hole where there is a limited number of food. There are animals around the watering hole that have to adapt to the changing environment as they try to find food and stay protected from predators. This is a predator. This is a predator. All of the rest are trying to stay protected. The goal of the game is to grow your population and to feed them. The game is played in four rounds. At the end of every round, every population you've kept alive, you'll get one point for. And the way you know it is every population that's still there will have one food, otherwise it would have starved. And you take that food and you put it in your bag and that's going to be those three, that'll be three points at the end of the round, put it in the bag, and that's how you score. So the goal is grow your population, flourish, and just find food and stay protected. And that's nature for you. I guess I should explain the game system. Yes, yes. So nature is a, a modular game system. The base game is supposed to be pretty easy to explain, pretty easy to get people into, but the real fun is that you can combine as many modules as you want. So you play with one location, you can be in the Amazon rainforest, you can be up in the Arctic tundra, and then you can choose as many modules as you want. Right now, it's on Kickstarter, there are five modules which give you 24 different combinations to explore. So part of the really allure of this game is it's very easily expandable. We have two, we, I guess I've got five modules in development. After the next two come out, the climate module and the disease module, there's going to be over a hundred combinations to explore. So part of the allure of this game is it's easy to bring people in. And when you buy one module, so $20, it's going to provide a whole bunch of new combinations to explore. So like a low price point, once you have several modules, there's a whole bunch of combinations. To explore and uh, let me just chip in um, and yeah. the modules don't e uh, don't only bring new cards in they only bring new rules in yeah yeah so for example in the rainforest yeah you can play cards face down you don't reveal the cards yeah, yeah that's yeah, yeah. really really crazy so it really feels different when you Completely add in different, different modules yeah, yeah 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 so i'll explain a couple modules yeah of course jurassic module it's for dinosaurs size is power yeah, yeah. huge Normally a species can be one size one, two, three, or four. In the rain in, in the Jurassic era, they can be size two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh wow. And yeah, that yeah, yeah. so you you've changed one rule and now when you discard a card, instead of going up by one size, you go up by two, completely changes the whole game. It's it's designed to make you feel invincible. Yeah. A dinosaur is just huge, stomps around. If they lose a population, they feed eight pop they like produce all this food and you're like ah, no problem yeah, yeah, yeah. so every module has a vibe like you're yeah, saying yeah. the rainforest is about bluffing and hidden deduction yeah. uh, the Arctic tundra very difficult your life on yeah. the edge of the habitable world where it's cold and species are dying of cold they can't find food it's hard to grow your population uh, Natural disasters, huge cataclysmic events that are changing the environment and hitting everyone equally as you try to figure out, like, uh, what's the right word, like scenarios mm -hmm. yeah, that are yeah, lasting yeah. for one to three rounds and then the way that they interact creates like a puzzle on how to, how to deal with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So these are the five uh, Forest 5 modules yep. and you already got a, a list of new modules you want to develop. I think you also worked with a few um, people on, on Board Game Geek. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there was a ranking or something. So people they could are choose. voting. Yeah, There's about yeah, 40 yeah. different ones that they're yeah. voting on. Crazy ones, what, really crazy ones. Really crazy <laughs> dinosaurs, yeah. aliens. A aliens, yeah. So, and then we're seeing what the community wants. Yeah. And then each module will drastically mm. affect the ecosystem in yeah. fun ways and then the combining them is where it really you get the fun part. So Kickstarter is on right now. When do you want to ship the game? So it's on right now. Kickstarter goes until October 24. We're going to ship the game in uh, June and July mm. of next year. And then it'll be released in August of next year. And then we are going to release one to two modules for the next 10 years. So we are going to support this game for a long, long time. And in the Kickstarter there will be a big box with all the modules, but you will also go to retail with just a starter box and then you can just buy the modules you are interested in and yep. work your way up. And we're, if you're interested, yeah. yeah. So um, I can't guarantee what's going to be out in German, that depends on the German partner, yeah. but in English we're going to release the flight module and the Jurassic module first, mm -hmm. and then we'll release the other modules later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Additionally, let me show the digital game. We already have a digital game, which, let me see if I can do this, um, go back to the main menu. There are three modules, and you can play for free, you can download it on iOS, Android, or Steam while the Kickstarter goes, so until August 24th it's free to download. There's a tutorial, it's in English. You'll, you can learn how to play Nature, you can learn how to play Flight, Tundra, Jurassic, and then you can go and play against an AI, which, uh, and you can play the Tundra module, you can play the Jurassic, you can play the Flight and the Jurassic, you can play just Nature, and uh, look and see, try the game, see if you like it, and if you like it, then you can back it on Kickstarter. Great idea. And after the Kickstarter, this will be available as well? It'll be available for purchase. Yeah, the yeah, of course. Free right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, if you just see the game, it's it's fairly, it's a, it's a very well done game. Just showing like how slick it is. This is just nature without any modules. You get your cards, you grab your cards. Oops, this shows how much food there is. You can play your traits, you can increase the size, you can increase your population. And then the AI figures out what to do. So, very well done. Kudos to the design, to the d yeah. digital team. Yeah, it, it, I think it's the same engine as Evolution. Yes. So they just pumped it up a little. Yeah. That's why they were able to do it before running yeah, this. Like, yeah, they yeah, put, yeah. They've been working on it for the last three years now. Yeah. But it started with a, like a good yeah, engine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thanks, Dominic. Thank anything you else you want to say to our audience today? I have nothing else to say. Thank you so much. Take care. Okay, see you later. All Bye. Right. Bye. <laughs>